guys, it's Seja. So today's video is a DIY video. I'm doing a DIY after pretty long. So I did this get the look video for Shraddha Kapoor's look in OK Janu a few weeks back and the shorts that she was wearing in the song Hamma Hamma. I am so obsessed. So I decided I'll do a proper DIY video for those shorts. I have two methods to show you in this video. One of which is very easy and the other one is also actually very easy. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys subscribe if you do and let's get to 100,000 very quickly. We've already crossed 80 which is amazing and let's get started. In the first method, we're actually going to get our shorts made from a local tailor. So for that, you need your own fabric, which is embroidered and bright. I'm going to get to how you can choose the right fabric in a bit. You also need your own lace. It's best to have your own because the shop may not have what you exactly want. Then also a little trinket, which you can again buy from a local shop or cut off from a parandi. Now onto the fabric, you can either go to a handloom store like this, or you can even buy a pillow cover from Fab India and use that. Or you can go to the local market and get these embroidered wall hangings or even use a dupatta but make sure you get it checked from your tailor and see if it'll actually work now after that i chose this one and got myself measured make sure you tell the tailor what you exactly want because they may not be used to making things like these so after four days this is what i got i told them to put the lace on top in the waistband and also on the bottom around the leg and the trinket on the side and an elastic at the back to make the shorts comfortable i really liked how it turned out and i mean i was very clear with what exactly i want and gave them a reference picture and everything as well In this method, we're going to be jazzing up some old shorts at home. So obviously you need shorts for that. The most important thing for this method is lace and the little trinket. You can even use a keychain for that. Now make sure you get some really nice bright lace with even some little mirrors on it. It'll look really nice. So all you want to do is lay your shorts out and see what you want to do with your lace. Try different designs. You can even use patches of embroidered fabric here and see how you like it. I personally like it to be a little plain. So I went with a very simple design in the end. Or if you're lazy, you can even just use your lace as a belt and I think it looks really nice. Oh, and I'm also going to be styling both of these shorts in two different ways towards the end, so stay tuned for that. So once I had my design, I just cut the lace uh, in the length that I wanted it. Now you can either use fabric glue to put it together or you can just stitch it up. I chose to st stitch it up. I am no expert at sewing, so if I struggle, please don't mind. So once you put the thread through the needle tie, it will not in the end. And I'm just gonna do this basic stitch from bottom to up. This is what my mom taught me. Be careful not to stitch the back of the shorts to the front. I did that once, it was horrible. So once you're done all the way to the top, just tie a little knot in the end. And that is about it. Also remember to just cut off the fray edges in the end of the thread and of the lace as well. Do it all the sides, stitch up all your lace and you're done! Now since these shorts are so bright and colourful, you don't want anything else to attract as much attention. So I went for this really plain black top and no jewellery, very simple makeup and I added this tan uh, sling bag and tan juttis to go with it. It's really simple and that's about it. Look, I just wore this really loose white top which has some little lace detail in the front and because the top is really plain, I added little pajars with the shoes. So I'm just wearing these uh, pom-pom, um, what are these called, cola puris and that's it. Moving on to the other shots. Now for this look, I wore this really beautiful lace off the shoulder top and these um, tan oxfords with it. I think the hanging keychain with the top looks really pretty. For the last look, I went super boho. I think boho matches the lace detail on the shots perfectly. So I'm just wearing a white tank top and this red lace frilly kimono and I added these really pretty blue earrings which I think look gorgeous and wore silver sandals with that and that's about it. Mm -hmm. 